This video will show you how to set up port forwarding on your computer for your FDT 720p Wi-Fi camera. To complete port forwarding, your camera will need to be accessed via a web browser on a PC or Mac. Using the FDT web interface, the camera's advanced settings will need to be configured. Before we begin, please ensure the following items are accessible. PC or Mac internet access, access to the FDT web interface, and access to the router's web interface. Some routers vary in restrictions from other basic routers, and some require the Internet Service Provider, or ISP, to make changes on their end. They can be very secure and require port forwarding to allow a device to contact servers and networks outside the local network. Most routers today have universal plug-and-play or UPNP, which automatically allows the camera to establish a functional and secure connection to other devices not connected to the local network, such as your phone or work computer. Let's begin with the initial setup and login process. First, ensure your router is connected to the camera wirelessly or with an Ethernet cable. Once your camera is connected to the internet, access the FDT web interface where the advanced settings can be configured. Please refer to the FDT Camera Desktop Access Setup video to learn how to access the FDT web interface if you have not already. Next, we need to change the HTTP port number. Open the Configuration tab. On the left panel, click on Network. Then click on the subheading, Network. Under IP Type, click on the drop-down menu and change DHCP to Static. The options IP Address, Subnet Mask, and Gateway will appear. Take note of the IP Address and the Gateway IP Address. You will need this information for future steps. Next, change the HTTP port number to a number ranging between 1024 to 49151. Click the Apply button. Using a port in this range will avoid any conflicts with other programs. Port numbers under 1024 and above 49151 are reserved for other programs. Take note of your port number. You will need it for future steps. The camera will restart and be unavailable for about one minute. Close out the FDT web interface window. Now we need to enable the UPnP or DDNS. First, open the FDT search tool. Click on the refresh button on the top right corner of the search tool. Under the port column, you will notice the number has been updated with the new HTTP port number you selected in the previous steps. Double-click on your IP camera. The FDT web interface will open in your primary web browser. Log in with your credentials as usual. Alternatively, to access the FDT web interface, you can open a new tab and insert the IP address into the address bar followed by a colon with the new HTTP port number you just changed. For example, IP address, colon, HTTP port number. Log in with your credentials as usual. Open the Configuration tab. On the left panel, click on Network. Select the DDNS to ensure the UPnP is enabled. The next step is optional. Enable 3P DDNS if you have an account or wish to create one with any of the listed servers. Please note, no-ip.com is free. Finally, let's set up port forwarding. Depending on the type of router you are using, the next steps will vary. For instructions specific to your router, 
open a new tab in your browser and go to portforward.com. On the left hand side, under the heading Router, click on Port Forwarding Guides. The routers are listed in alphabetical order. Scroll down and find your router. In this video, we are referencing to the Cisco Linksys E1200. This site provides a full guide on how to port forward with your specific router. Then, click on the default guide link as shown here. Keep this tab open. You will need it for the steps in this section. Open another tab on your browser. Insert the gateway IP address you noted earlier into the address bar to access your router's interface. Reference back to the portforward.com website for specific instructions on your router. First, click on the Applications and Gaming tab. Make sure you're in the sub-tab for Single Port Forwarding, or sometimes called Virtual Server. Name your port forwarding rule. Input the HTTP port number in the external and internal port fields. For the protocol, select both as the camera uses both TCP and UDP. Input the IP address of the camera in the To IP Address field and check Enable. Then click the Save Settings button. Go back to the FDT web interface. Click on Network, then click on DDNS. Click Query to discover the external IP address. Wait a moment for the external IP address to appear. Write down this number. To ensure that the FDT web interface can be accessed from a different device connected to another network, please perform the next step. Insert the external IP address followed by a colon and the HTTP port number into the URL in a web browser. Or, if you have an account with DDNS, type your DDNS address followed by a colon and HTTP port number in the address bar. If you are unable to access your camera, check to see if the ports are open by navigating to canyouseeme.org. Type in the port you wish to check. Click the Check Port button. It will take a few seconds to check whether it succeeded or failed. If it fails and it has been successfully port forwarded, please get in touch with your ISP as there may be other blocks or boundaries created by the ISP. Thank you for watching.